the work captures India like never before. Raghubar Singh made his name with vibrant street photography, in color where others used black and white. He had a personal connection to the landscapes and the people he shot from the 1970s up until his death in 1999. You can almost feel the heat, you can taste the sweetness. They are visions from within the culture. They don't reproduce the stereotypic touristic images that often dominate in Western media. Curator Dipali Duwan says bringing Singh's work to the ROM was an exciting step. We wanted to make an intervention into that history of photography by showcasing the work of a non-white photographer in a history that was dominated mostly by male Western photographers. But when the show premiered at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, it was met with this protest. Artist Jayshree Abhichandani came forward with allegations Singh sexually abused her in the 1990s. It shocked us, it made us really concerned, um, and it made us think a lot. This was something that we had, you know, near daily conversations about. We brought our board of trustees into the question. We asked staff who are working on the project, how do we want to think about this? There were few examples to draw from. In Washington, the National Gallery of Art has indefinitely postponed installations by artists Chuck Close and Thomas Roma after sexual misconduct allegations came out against them. In a statement to CBC News, the gallery said all parties involved acknowledge that it is not the appropriate time to present these installations. Art professor Dot Tour says the ROM has found itself in the middle of a conversation dominating the art world. I don't think we can leave the context and the biography of an artist completely out of the picture. What we do with that, I think, is the question everyone's asking. And if you're going to call out one, I guess you should call them all out. That would include people deeply entrenched in the Western art canon and whose personal lives are now under heavy scrutiny. Artists like Pablo Picasso, who mistreated women in his life, or Paul Gauguin, who was past 40 when he married three young teens in Tahiti. In a lot of ways, the biographies that we've been told of famous artists through the centuries has been sanitized. Art critic Leah Sandals says it's time to complicate those simplified stories and not treat these people as untouchable heroes and visionaries and geniuses, but recognize the ways in which they are failed and have hurt other people. But she cautions the quality of the conversation is just as important. It can't just be a superficial check mark, check a box, oh, we did it. It's got to be something that is respectful and respectful especially of the people who have been abused. That's why the ROM is taking an extra step as it goes ahead with the Sing Show. A free display called Me Too in the Arts features a timeline of the Me Too movement and the words of Singh's accuser, Jayshri Abhichandani. She consulted with the ROM and told CBC News, I support the ROM exhibition as they are the hopefully first institution to address the topic. Every supportive space created for survivors is appreciated. But museums will continue to grapple with troubling artists who make great art. That conversation is far from over. Stephanie Skanderis, CBC News, Toronto.